Yugi Twitter has to be the dumbest place a person could go to if they want the most lowest IQ kind of conversation you can imagine. And, you know, it, it, it's been really annoying because Konami realistically hasn't done nothing in Yugi Twitter, but you get Yu Gi Oh plays that say the wrong thing in a video, well, psh, that's a ban. And yet you get people like this. And I'm not going to play what this person said, but it was really horrific. Um, it's really, really bad. The craziest thing about Yugi Twitter is the fact that this is like not weird. This isn't like, oh no, this is drama. We never have drama. Yugi Twitter it exists solely on drama. And I know one of the comments is going to be like, hey V, why can't we just play the game? We can't. We have dumbasses like this running around using Yugi as a platform uh, and adding on top of that platform. I think that's the issue. Like, if someone says, I play Yu-Gi-Oh, like, all right, cool. They're like, all right, let's talk about the economic situation in Croatia or, or, or Ukraine or what. And you're like, dude, I thought we are playing Yu-Gi-Oh, but we want to add this bullshit onto it. That is Yu-Gi Twitter in a nutshell. It is so brain dead. And, and, and it just abuses, and I really want to emphasize this, it abuses the fact that we're Yu-Gi-Oh players. But they want to fill us in with their horse shit. And this is the issue with Yu-Gi-Oh Twitter. Now, once again, I don't mind people having their own opinions. That's fine. Like, it's no big deal. But when things like this happen, it's kind of annoying. Now, if anyone doesn't know, caught up on all the lore, this was an individual who came out and made allegations against another Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, content creator. And basically uh, then came back and backtracked from those allegations and said, I was having a nervous breakdown. Bro. There's no way you have a nervous breakdown for 20 minutes after hitting the record button. Upload that to YouTube with a thumbnail, add in your tags, and hit public. But I'm calling horseshit. That's not a nervous breakdown. That's you being a dumbass. Straight up. Number one. Number two, I just want to say that I really do, do even though this person is insanely wrong, uh, I don't think this person's wrong about what they said about uh, the other YouTuber, Farfa. I think at one time in this game, Farfa was a abhorrent person. A lot of people like to forget about it, but he was. I, I know that firsthand. Uh, but with that said, it doesn't give you any right to make allegations without providing zero proof and say, just believe me. That's not how things work. You provide proof. If you don't have proof, you look like an idiot, and then people will make fun of you because they know you, that you're in. Like, they go, okay, this guy's a moron. This guy has no idea what he's saying. Um, listen, I don't care about the trans community in Yu-Gi-Oh. doesn't mean I hate them. Okay, I want to emphasize that. It doesn't mean I hate them at all. I don't. I just don't care. When I'm playing against you, I'm going to play cards. Um, once again, if you have that little, you know, your tags of like your pronouns or whatever on your Twitter, that's fine. That's once again, you can do that. But it's when you just go and use Yu-Gi-Oh! as a vehicle to attack other people. Let me give you a good example of this. So this is a Yu-Gi-Oh! player, I think, allegedly, possibly, who knows. But they came out and started saying this garbage. Please know if you're trans, you're absolutely not labeled to the one person, which they're right about. Sure. Who happens to be trans? Actions. Once again, I agree a million percent. You're welcome in the same way that I am. When plenty of straight, sif white guys do arguably the most bad and horrific things. Bro, you took one issue and somehow, some way, Harry Potter magically used that issue to attack white people. Are you fucking kidding me? Why are we letting racists in this game? Like, why is this allowed? I'm a, like dead serious. I'm Hispanic, and this annoyed the crap out of me. Like, why are we allowing racists to say stupid shit in this game? Honest truth. Like, I just want like Konami. Can I get an opinion? Is racism allowed in this game? I just want to like. Are we gonna count this? I mean, at this point, do we even count this as being part of the game, or just a bunch of idiots using Yu-Gi-Oh as a vehicle to attack other people or to say to say that message? Once again, I wore Trump hat in my last video. Didn't care. Thought it was funny. No big deal. And that's fine. But, like, I didn't use a, my, you know, I didn't go Yu-Gi-Oh! Market Watch and start babbling the entire 20 minutes about how Trump's the greatest. But this is what they do here on Twitter. And then they turn around and do racist shit like this. Bro, can we stop being racist in this fucking game? Like, for, like, a quick second. <laughs> maybe, maybe out the lifetime of the game. Um... And then one person actually called him out on it. Which was uh, for the straight cis white guy comment. Like, everything else was based. But the last part felt like, yeah, 100%. Like, and this is what happens. This is, this is, they go, we're here for you trans community. And once again, sure, that's fine. But they'll don't come out of nowhere and go, and fuck white people. Like, bro, are you kidding me, dude? Are you shit? Are you kidding me?
Is that happening in this game? Who wants to take a guess? Was this guy racist, by the way? Who wants to take a guess? It it it, it might be shocking, but that white. <laughs> Bro. Bro, chill. <laughs> Bro. Yo. A white dude attacking other white dudes, defending people, uh, defending uh, the trans community by attacking his own race. This is why, like, Yu-Gi-Oh players just don't fuck with Twitter. Um, I was trying to grow my Yu-Gi-Oh Twitter. I don't think I'm going to, um, because it's stupid. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to like say something and then some dude, some dude comes out of nowhere and goes, "Yo, I hate white people. Like, what's going on, man? Like, get away from me, bro." <laughs> like, if it was, this was as a joke, I get it. I'm, you know, we're good. No, this dude's dead ass. He said, "Don't worry about trans people. It's all good. that one person doesn't speak for us." By the way, that white guy, th those, uh, those, what, those, those cis white dudes. For anyone to know, the word cis I think means straight. I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, please comment down below. And let me know. But I'm, po I'm almost positive it means straight. So straight cis. Uh, I guess that means dude. Oh, actually, no, you're both straight. Dude. I don't know what the fuck. Okay, I have zero idea with that. I don't know the new fucking update on the DLC of fucking bullshit that is like the, the this you know virtual signaling. I'm sorry, I haven't, I haven't uh, read all the DLC updates. Um, but to say shit like white guys do the arguably the most bad and horrific things, are you insane, bro? Like this has nothing to do with this. This is a person who made a rant that literally was talking about the creators' game to die again for everyone's family members to die. Like, are you kidding? And no one's saying, oh, I hate all transsexual people or whatever, uh, LGB, whatever the fuck you guys say, uh, because of this person. No one's saying that. But some of you saw that and was like, oh, wait a minute. Whoa, gotta defend him. Attack Whitey. Are you fucking stupid? This is the dumbest person on the internet today. You win it. Dumbest person on the internet award. The craziest part about this is we can always look past this. But the fact that he got 459 likes means there are other morons in this community that actually see this and go, oh, no, this is fine. This is perfect. This is okay. It's okay to attack another race for someone's sexual preference. Because the alleged, the alleged argument here is that they're bringing that onto another sexual preference. Once again, I know this is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, a Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube channel, and I swear I'm going back to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! I did a Mark Watch today. Uh, uh, I haven't had much sleep, but I really wanted to go over this because this is the most racist shit I've seen. All by using the vehicle of Yu-Gi-Oh! Once again, Yu-Gi-Oh! You guys, YouTube channel, it's, it's all about Yu-Gi-Oh! All by using a vehicle that is Yu-Gi-Oh! But to be racist. In the year 2022. Against white people that had nothing to do with this kid. I mean, I, the kid's white, I guess? Okay. Uh, maybe? I think? <laughs> this is insane. And this is the kind of garbage that happens on Twitter. So, yeah, no, I don't think... I mean, I might tweet every now and then. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Twitter. Screw that shit. Like, I, I don't have time for racist people. I don't have time for uh, this person making allegations, not providing any facts. Uh, or, 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 or just saying you have a nervous breakdown, which is the most shittiest fucking cop-out. I don't care about... It. It's just the fact that I want to talk about this because this person decided to make it into something about race, which is really fucked up. Um... Once again, guys, this is the you community on Twitter. <laughs> Watch out for it. It's autistic. Uh, I would highly recommend, guys, stick with YouTube. Um, yeah, that's what I would recommend. Uh, Twitch, no big deal. Just, just scary from all this bullshit because there's a lot of just insanely fucked up people on this platform. That is Twitter. And anyway, I really appreciate you guys for my videos. It's your boy V, and you boys also have a great day.